Clams, oysters, mussels are popularly known as adodi in the Volta part of Ghana. They are of different species and the species we have in Ghana is oyster. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how I prepare mine and trust me, you will love it. So are you planning to have your birthday party or any ceremony? Then I got you because you are going to love this. Before we start, these ones are muzzles. I told you earlier that they are of different species and this one is another type of species which is muzzles. They've cleaned it already but there are some parts which I don't like so I'm just going to remove everything and you will see that on the screen okay so it is like um, a net as you can see that or like hair I'll just remove everything and then I will continue with you if today is the first time here my name is Lena and welcome to my kitchen I'll be very happy if you can call me Ezra that is only if you can pronounce it <laughs> that is just by the way so after I am done you will continue please do not forget to follow me on all social media platforms at exhibiting mommy's recipes on youtube instagram tiktok we share detailed short videos which i know very well you will love it so please follow me there as well okay thank you so much for your time so now when i am done with everything as i told you earlier i will tell you what we will do or the next thing so what i did was i washed this one very well with my lemon juice okay because it has that smell so i washed it very well with my lemon juice and what you are seeing right now is some green thing be on it okay i removed that as well and i will be with you very soon Thank you so much for your time and please do not forget to like this video, share to others and also leave me your comments. I'll be very happy to read them. It is very easy to pull out or to bring that out. Okay. Very, very easy. Now we are done cleaning everything and I'll go ahead and add my all purpose seasoning. You can as well omit this okay and then use just salt you are good to go but i will add all pepper seasoning and then add just some more salt to taste so the all pepper seasoning contains um pepper that is black pepper ginger garlic and many more now we are just going to leave that in the water for some time okay what you are saying is my seasoning another seasoning that i've added so you can use any seasoning of your choice or you can omit it and then use the salt so i think with this recipe i did not add any salt to it because the seasoning i just added contains salt leave that and then wait for about 10 to 15 minutes and you are good to go so after 10 15 minutes this is what i'm going to do i'm just going to pour this in my colander so that the water can um strain and then we we'll continue so after i did that i poured it um, on my paper towel okay to make it a bit dry you know how the place will be messy when you are dealing with seafood so i poured it in the colander the water drained and then poured it on my paper towel okay after that we will just go ahead and then fry this very well if you want it dry that is okay if you want it wet or juicy that is fine so i made it very I made it a bit dry okay not ju very juicy but a bit dry and now this is how or this is what is happening this is normal okay if you see something like this it is normal especially when you are frying this 
or squid. It sometimes happens. So when you see something like this, just be very careful and turn off the heat because it can pour in the fire. And when it happens like that, you know what will happen. Okay. So now they are ready and just look at that. So delicious. They look so good. I remove it from that and then allow them to rest on the paper towel so that some of the oil can come out even though we can't bring everything okay it can come out and then i will continue with you are you still with me if yes thank you so much for your time and i don't take it for granted please do not forget to like this video share to others and please subscribe or follow for more videos it is free after i was done i sprinkled some soya powder okay the one we call kebab powder i sprinkle some on it and then this is how they are looking so after you do that you arrange them on the sticks and then you are good to go i really enjoy this on my birthday and because of that that is why i'm missing some of the clips okay because i was in a hurry to i mean celebrate the birthday so this is how it looks and this was so nice and very delicious thank you so much for watching and to come your way next time, do not forget to take good care of yourself, eat very healthy, and try this recipe. You will love it. It was so nice. Just slice some onions and add to this, and oh my goodness, it is so good. Or pair it with your fried yam, and ah, it is so good. You can as well pair it with your abolo or bangkung or whatever, okay? It also tastes good or anything. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.